guys and welcome back to another episode here on the VentureCraft survival server. This is Rascal speaking and we are about to dock our boat <laughs> into the creation that we have designed in the previous episode. Uh, I'm going to start working on the details on this citadel in today's episode because I still have to acquire a lot of materials for this build here. I had a great idea of having red roofs, so instead of using acacia, I'm gonna have to use a red sandstone, which is pretty hard to acquire here on the server, so it's gonna take me a while off camera. Anyway, I've placed two beacons there and there <laughs> that I well spend a lot of time mining and, and uh, AFKing at Looney's uh, iron farm, but it paid off. So we got uh, Haste 2, Speed 2 and Jump Boost 2 as well. So yeah, jumping around this thing is going to make life much more easier than it did so far. So let me grab some items and I'll see you guys at the top of this citadel. Here we are at the top of this end crystal uh, storage. <laughs> um, looking at the wall here, the glass is pretty much at the very center of the blocks here. So we don't have that much room here for the details and, and things. So we have to be smart about this. What I had in mind is coming... Well, is this silk touch? Nope. Is this one silk touch? Yes. Um, I was thinking of maybe coming over so one two three mm, on the fourth block it is silk touch oh it's a little bit laggy today uh, let's go with the bone blocks yep the same thing goes for the other side so one two three and on the fourth block we're gonna break that and raise a pillar maybe I didn't <laughs> I didn't think through this jump boost effect. <laughs> um, we are going to raise it to some level and then we're gonna make an arch going around this thing using uh, quartz stairs. So maybe let's start at the very, very beginning here. And then we will gradually work around it and see what happens with it. All right, we have created this. It looks okay so far. And then we will meet this point. Um, hmm. Let's let's do the same thing we did on the other side. And once we reach, once we reach this uh, pillar. <laughs> We will see what what can we do about it. Um, I think the stair comes here, and then we will have a full block. Okay, and then this is the place where it stops. Maybe if I do, huh? Let's try with this, and if I can get up there, maybe I can create another row of something like this with a quartz stair, and then it will go down, so that's one, two, three, and four. And then we have a stair and a stair. Maybe maybe a little bit shorter than that. Maybe right here. So one, two, three, stair, stair. Okay. Uh, I need some quartz stairs. Okay. Something to pillar up. Let's use granite. Uh, so that was one 
and two and three, then here we will have stair and stair, and then we go, yeah, so one, two, three, and then again two stairs, and so on. Oops, wrong, like that. Okay, all the way down to the bottom. Now, would it be better if I made it pop out a little bit more? Well, maybe not because of this pillar here. Hmm. Maybe if I used some other material here, like, for example, this color, would that be better? Let's try with that one and see what we can get. Ooh, I need to convert all of this. Well, I gotta be honest, it looks way better than the white theme that we had. Which makes this side a little bit more interesting, but that slab over there is in my way, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I should probably work on something that's gonna follow this line of concrete that we have to make the basic shape of the roof on this side as well. I have placed some stairs so let's step back a little bit and take a look at it from the distance. Oh, can I make it? Nope. <laughs> Never mind. So yeah, I just follow the outline and whenever it makes uh, an L shape I've placed a upside down stair so that's what we have right now so on top of them I'm going to place some blocks until hmm let's see how many blocks should I use should I use concrete or should I use Quartz. Concrete or quartz? Hmm. Now I am stuck with this dilemma now. What should I use here? Let's try with a concrete and see what it looks like. Um, I imagine this one is gonna have to extend. Yep. This one is gonna have to extend. Okay, uh, I, I'm gonna need a little bit more than that, so let's use our powder here. Okay. Great, now water to convert it and then... Hope nothing breaks. <laughs> Spam it as fast as you can. Let's take a flight here. Yeah, that makes sense. I think we're gonna use white concrete here because that makes much more sense and those stairs are more visible. If we used quartz, they would just blend in with the quartz blocks and that wouldn't look so great. Now I just have to do something with this transition right here. Step two of the design here is placing slabs, quartz slabs, all the way across here. Right, um, now I have to measure this platform and think about some kind of detail that is going to go right here something that's going to be suitable for for hmm. it's a lot of space but then again it's not symmetrical really because of of this thing that we have uh this arch going right around like this and kind of the center of this wall is on one third of the actual uh, space that we have here. It's right here instead of uh, I think here. That would be the center of, of this space. 
I have invested few minutes into hard thinking and I don't know if it was a smart idea or a bad idea <laughs> we will see right now so uh, where the bone blocks go upwards I placed um, quartz stairs on them well should I place them higher or maybe not like let's let's try and place them a little bit higher than that so like here for example that could look cool from the sides come on one more there we go and we are going to extend the bone block pillars here that we have uh, all the way until they meet with the with the second platform that is going to go um, out from this block and it's gonna follow the same shape that we have right here so let's try and land oops almost right something like this okay we have that uh, now maybe I should place one more row of white concrete powder on top of these and then let's see is that going to be enough I really hope I really hope it's enough and then we're gonna place quartz stairs like this gonna look weird maybe maybe if I take one and just place normal and then upside down I think that would make much more sense than just having them meet this upside down stair right on this level okay I'm gonna do that uh, let me just convert a little bit of quartz and I'll meet you guys in a second okay guys let's step back I think I'm gonna have to extend the line or maybe not damn night and the st thunderstorm <laughs> uh, it's so hard to see when it's nighttime and I'm not alone so I can't sleep all the night uh, anyway uh, that's scary I don't have to extend the row of concrete anymore that looks all right especially when I design the other sides so we're going to have something as uh, mm, like a hard break upwards here in the middle and then we are going to have some kind of crest here also I need to work on the crests right here and you can see the bone <laughs> block pillar right there I was thinking of creating two more smaller chambers pillars right behind here I think that would be an interesting detail and it would like make this transition a lot more smoother from from the citadel towards this part right over here so let me work a little bit more with the detail here and I'll see you guys right in a second I think I came up with uh, a decent solution to this problem I placed a window right in line with this so I used upside down quartz stairs full block normal stairs uh, normal stair upside down stair and across some slabs this is also a slab as you can see and it looks all right here well that side presents a little bit of a problem at this moment so what I was thinking is creating another one of these but maybe upside down to go like from this point across like that behind the pillar here so let's try and do that so we have two <coughs> there we go so here somewhere we have 
two blocks and then we have one oops wrong <laughs> I said in the opposite direction like so now I don't have any stairs any quartz stairs no 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 let's try now something like this I guess is it it means here okay now let's fly fly back and take a look at it from the distance it looks interesting um, maybe I should have done that same thing for this side <laughs> because it doesn't look really symmetrical someone's shooting at me where did you guys come from get out of my property nope why am I so precise today usually I would just kill the horses and then the skeletons will roam free trying to kill me <laughs> look I didn't kill a single horse I just shot skeletons it must be my lucky day hey this looks better <laughs> this looks really really better uh, I just have to lower this one <laughs> look at this yeah I just have to lower it by one to make it symmetrical with this side or maybe not when the other side comes in place this will make sense right now it's kind of throwing us off a little bit but it's all right it's all right so right there that's the too small hmm, maybe maybe even maybe even one more just to satisfy the need of repeating it uh, maybe turn it this side like this hmm I'm gonna have to think about that uh, in the meantime I'm gonna have to go to a quartz mining session because I am out <laughs> completely I don't have a single quartz to work with that's all I have this is all white concrete powder white concrete snow but this I need more anyway <laughs> <laughs> this is never ending never ending story of me mining quartz I just hope I don't die somewhere in the nether Well, ladies and gentlemen, I copied the design of this side to the other side, and now it looks like a uniformed design. What I would like to do now is to connect this and this part in some kind of an arch. Probably going to use stairs, maybe some, some slabs, in order to make it... Um, to be curved as as this one is just to slightly make that transition and not so hard as we have it here but those those curves here 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 they remind me of a curtain you know the curtain that you would draw as a kid on a on a on a, on a window yeah that's that's exactly what it looks like <laughs> at least to me uh, also once we connect this part to that part I'm going to remove this part of the pillar and I'm going to have a huge canvas here that I can work with also I should figure out how exactly am I going to extend this middle part up in the air okay now let's first start by connecting this side to this side with an arch what I was thinking is that I would like to follow 
this line, this pillar here. So I think I am going to do this and place a stair right here. And on top of that stair, I will continue by placing this right away to the top. And I'm going to do that same thing with this side. So we're going to go down and oh, I'm going to have just enough stairs to do all of this. Grab some bone blocks. Let's go up, up, too high. <laughs> okay, let's get here. Upside down stair. Excellent. Now, from this point, I can... I can use... I need stairs. Where are my crafting benches? <laughs> I've got so many of them created, but they're just lying around everywhere. Probably in this chest. Yes, they are. Okay. Let's take this and create a few more stairs. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to place stairs there on those red blocks. And then try and make an archway. Okay, let me just get back up. Uh, can I land? Yes. Alright. Uh, let's drop down. Perfect. There we go. Now I'm going to use these because I can <laughs> distinguish it from, from all the other blocks easily. Um, actually, on top of that, maybe I should use some quartz. Just like so. And then we can have one, two, three. Yep. I'm going to have to go like this and then create one, two, three and three uh, stair right here with the quartz on top one more slab quartz block there we go now all that's left for me is to fill in the background or maybe work immediately on the decoration let's come here oh Hmm. I solved the problem <laughs> of the symmetry by placing one there and one here. I'm going to place some cyan glass behind them, which I think is going to look pretty good. And then I have to fill the rest with... Oops. With a white concrete. Compared to the um, to the quartz block, I don't know which one is actually white. This one has a blue, or yeah, something like a blue, and this one has um, what is this red? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know which one is the actual white. So, okay, let's let's place some glass here and close that off up there with some concrete. When I look at it zoomed in like this, it really it really is a magnificent building and there's so much more to do here. I can't wait to start working, but unfortunately, that's it for today's episode. I ran out of time. So, guys, you know what to do. If you like the episode, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode of VentureCraft Vanilla.